Hi, betting experts. On Saturday the 4th of February, eight cracking races on ITV. On Saturday, the best from three tracks, Weatherby, Musselburgh and Sandown. Really competitive handicaps in the main with a couple of really good graded races too. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 145. This is the Virgin Bet Handicap Chase. Two mile class, two for five-year-olds and upwards. And I like Dolos here. Paul Nichols every Saturday has his horses tuned up, ready to go. And this course specialist won this race in 2022. He's run really well in defeat on all three occasions so far this winter. I think the key to Dolos could well be that I think it'll be good to soft on Saturday at Sandown. We've had a dry week and it's a dry weekend forecast and it's been breezy so it'll dry out all the time and that'll suit Dolos. I'm expecting a positive attacking ride from the front from Harry Cobden. He's a brilliant jumper this horse, especially down the back on the railway fences and hopefully the half lengths that he ekes out down there will be enough to see him up the hill in front. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 3.30 at Sandown. This is the Virgin Bet Masters Handicap Chase. Three mile class two for five-year-olds and upwards. And I think a double figure price about Castle Robin is the way to go here. Now, Charlie Longston, probably best known for having winners in the summer and maybe the spring on decent ground. But actually, his horses have been thriving for the whole season. He's been enjoying a pretty good strike rate and he's got some nice young horses. This one... Returned with a really good effort at Kelso in October over three mile two win, probably just in need of the run, but shaping well. He'd looked to chase her to follow last season, winning a couple of times, and that was certainly the case, the impression created on his seasonal debut. He then bounced at Cheltenham in November. He was turned out too quickly there a couple of weeks afterwards, was beaten at halfway. Forget that run. He's been given plenty of time to recover. He's only had seven runs over fences. Paul O'Brien knows him well. I think he'll go really close to the track and the stiff uphill finish will definitely help. The remaining six races, we'll do them on time order. 128 at Musselburgh, a veterans handicap chase. Small field, open to 10-year-olds and upwards. Really good idea, these races. And I think Cyclop might be the one to make all the running. Now, all of these veterans blow hot and cold, but he's got the chance of an uncontested lead, and that's not been the case recently. Theo Gillard booked. I think he'll make all the running. Back to Musselburgh for the 2.03, a marathon here, nearly four miles. Well, Flower of Scotland proved himself well suited by an extreme test of stamina when winning the Scottish Borders National at Kelso in December. And if you watch that run back, well, things didn't pan out ideally for him either. He was in well in rear and made a few mistakes, then got blocked off a couple of times. Very strong on the long run in there. My only slight niggling doubt is that Musselburgh's a lot sharper than Kelso, but Danny McNenneman is up again. He knows his quirks. Hopefully he'll be quite positive on Flower of Scotland, who will be not be stopping up the straight. Back to Sandown for the 2.20, Grade 1 Novice Chase, the Silly Isles here. Looks a match between the front two, but Mon Morale perhaps hasn't had the credit he deserved for two defeats this winter. He bumped into John Bond and then the real whacker last time out in a very tactical race that didn't suit him. He's a really sound jumper and I think that could be the asset here, particularly down the back straight. I'm hoping, again, that Cobden will seize the initiative from the tape and make all the running. He's a galloper rather than the quickener on Ron Morale, but he's a thoroughly likeable horse. Over to Weatherby, the 240, the Towton, Novice Chase, Grade 2, 3 mile, disappointing small field. Bally Griffin Cottage jumped like Arkle first time out at Haydock, winning really impressively given his inexperience. He's reportedly being aimed at the Cheltenham Festival, and this looks a simple opportunity now in a small field. Back to Sandown for the 255, a handicap hurdle, a premier contest here, attempts qualify. Sometimes these races can be a bit of a minefield for punters, but this one looks a good opportunity for remastered. David Pipe is another trainer having a fantastic season. This one's been mixing hurdles and fences with real success. He's a strong traveller. He's up to a career high mark here, and I think that'll put people off, but he's bound to give his running. Better cut in the ground, a stiff uphill finish, absolutely ideal for him. And finally, at Musselburgh, they're 316, the Scottish County handicap hurdle. And Nayarty has been a real money spinner for McCain. Eight wins from 24 starts. He showed this course and distance suited ideally when winning impressively here on New Year's Day, quickening up smartly. They should go a strong gallop here, and hopefully Hughes can pounce late. Best of luck with all eight ITV races on Saturday, betting experts.